Hey there, so let's start with creating our first quiz. In the add widget, you will see the quiz and survey option. By dragging it, you can add it into the page. And you can start adding your steps. By default, it will come with two steps for your quiz or survey, which you can completely edit or you can add a new step. So let's just click in here and let's go with step three. In this way, add as many as you want. Now, when you click inside to edit fields, you can see exactly which step you're editing and what kind of fields you have inside. And this is the view of a new uh, type of uh, option, a field that we have introduced, where it is this quiz survey type of uh, option for picking multiple or single choice options. And here you can add the name of it. Currently it is blank, so we don't have any label for it. And the options with scores and settings. So what is the idea here? You can add as many options as you want with their name, but you can also score them. So this is if you want to have a specific uh, you know, results or page or thank you message to show for a specific type of customers. So let's say that you want to survey people based on their preferences and based on the score that you assign to different options that they pick, you can show them a specific product, for example, or a specific video that you want them to see. So here you can add as many uh, points and score as you want for each option. And again, you can add an option as well. In the settings in each option, you can also uh, add an image for it, description if you want, uh, show additional information, or even tag. This allows people to actually be tagged with a specific tag when they choose this option. This way you can know exactly in your CRM and in your email marketing which person did uh, choose a specific option, so you can send them a specific chain of emails, for example. And you can skip the step. So. Uh, let's say that somebody chooses the step uh, option one and you can skip a specific step and go to another one. So this way you can just uh, build you know, more complex um, kind of quizzes and surveys skipping steps. So this is it. And in the settings of the actual uh, option, of the actual uh, boxes, you have the description of the whole thing. You have different ways of showing the results. So instead of having this single uh, regular option, you can have it as a box. This is the box view. This is the cool view. Of course, you have different options of stacking the, uh, the options with icon or not. So you have the freedom to create and visualize the options as you want with circles or with squares and, you know, preserving the image ratio, whatever you want to choose and create it. You also have the ability to show the uh, option here for the circle. This is again optional if you want or not. How many per row and if it's single or multiple choice type of a field. So if you want people to choose multiple ones, just click that option. And you, of course, you can map these uh, answers to a specific property in your CRM if you have such. So you can define or define as a new CRM property. So it is up to you. So this is the new basically field that we have introduced, which is here we have the common fields. When you add a new field, it's a multiple or single choice type of a field, plus the rating, but we'll show you that in a second. So these are the basically the tiles, the boxes that, uh, you know, it's most commonly used within surveys and quizzes because it's super visual and you can choose which option you want and continue with your, uh, with your filling. Now you also have the option to change the step heading and step description, so you can do it from here and change it to each step that you have. And this way you can build as many as you want. Here in this section, for example, we have our name and email. This is uh, standard fields that you have. Again, you can add any type of a field that you want. Let's say accept terms. You can add on this uh, on this step, and basically that can be first or or last step that you have inside your, your system. Again, you can have it in the middle if you want. Uh, and the step three that we just added. So here, for example, we can add, by default it is blank, we can add the new rating score. So here we have the rating with, you know, up to 10, but you can, you know, define how much you want to have, let's say up to five, and you have five, you know, ratings from which to choose from. So this is really good for like NPS scores or something similar. And just like that, you can organize and create your steps inside your quiz and survey. Now, how do you basically show a specific result, um, a specific message or a page based on the score that you get? So you can do it from here. Uh, from here, you can uh, adjust from what amount of points that is being uh, awarded to that user, uh, what kind of message do you want to show, 
uh, so it can be a title description and a call to action that you want to add or you can have it as a page redirect so this is to show a specific page based on the score not just a message so let's say you want to show them a video a checkout page whatever you want you can select it here and you can add as many rules as you want so here you just add the range so from, let's say 0 to 100 from 101 to 200 etc etc so you can build up your score board and based on that to show a specific page or again a message and we have added the tag as well so the tag allows you to tag the user with a specific tag when they are being in that specific range so this is very cool to know let's say this is grade a grade b grade c so you can also grade people based on the the score that they have uh, and you can add a tag to each one um, or, or let's say this is a person that is uh, you know interested in, in this area or in that area so the tags are really cool and based on that you can also trigger an automation as you know so that you can start sending them a specific campaign or again show them a specific as well um, information on the thank you page and just like that you can create a very smart quizzes and surveys and again you have styling of course of your whole solution so you can go into the edit styling and settings and there you can adjust your headings like we discussed uh, basically you can adjust uh, what kind of uh, looks they will have uh, by changing that and the size of the headline and description you can adjust uh, easily you can do that for the labels of your fields of the whole quiz as well so if you want to make it like dark type of a, of a feel you can absolutely do that so you can adjust all these settings easily you have the box options so these are this box the tiles uh, so you can easily adjust again the, the fonts as well that are inside if you want to make it more more unique the whole uh, the whole background of the whole thing so you can make it something like that with a with a white cover for example and uh, you have a very unique looking uh, quiz with different you know stylings and of course the button as well you can change it to whatever color you want and just like that you can create your quiz to your likes however you want now what happens after you submit your quiz and let's look into that now we can save our page and preview the quiz that we have created now here we have uh, the option to select uh, uh, an option and pick our rating and add some information here and accept our terms because this is a required option and we can submit it and we show the thank you message now this information as you know you'll see it uh, as a form inside your messages so first of all the user will be created and here you'll see all the answers by steps so you can see the step and the field that has been uh, created and of course the score so if you have a scoring in this case we didn't assign any score to our quiz we have zero but uh, yeah you'll be able to see a score if there is such score here and the user is not tagged with, a with anything because it, he, the, the user was not uh, there was no tagging as well involved in the in the whole thing plus you have here inside the customer's profile the quiz and the survey that they have filled this is how simple it was to create our first quiz for our you know business so you feel free to create as big as you want and um, you know interesting as you want some other settings that you can also adjust is of course the name of it who to be notified about this uh, this quiz also you can have out to advance so basically if you have a single choice um, type of a field you can have the auto advance so that when somebody you now selects it they will just progress to the next step easily uh, and of course don't forget that you can connect this whole thing to your email marketing automations uh, again you can do it based on the tags that you add but you can also send everybody that fills it to a specific list that you have in your email marketing and tag them as well so if you want all people who are, have submitted the quiz to be tagged you can also add a tag and here is just how the auto advance works so we just enable it so we don't have the button to continue because by clicking on it we just continue to the next step for the rating as well and this is it these are the quizzes super flexible super customizable and you can create as big as you want quizzes and yeah i hope that you enjoy them 